Bismillah, assalamu alaikum, welcome back to Ibn Text the Dawah. Today we have a couple of interesting stories for you, starting out at Mashal Rahmah, the foundation of the Salafi Dawah by Sheikh Abdul Salam Burjas, read by our Ustad Ahmed Fathi, will be continuing tonight after Maghrib, so update your times for that. Likewise, the community talk and dinner that will take place at Mashal Rahmah this weekend for the, the 6th of August, which is Saturday, tomorrow, will will uh, is, is still on schedule the importance of etiquette in islam we had an update that Ustad mustafa will be covering the topic of marriage and imam ahmed will be covering brotherhood and good companionship so please see that uh tomorrow up next we have a quick recording a quick audio from or a quick video from our Ustad hassan somali who is giving an advice about having allegiance to the truth above all else let's listen to that now the person of the sunnah, naam, should not be fooled. Because anyone that comes, you say something, they're going to compare it to the Quran and the sunnah. You do something, they're going to compare it to the Quran and the sunnah. And alhamdulillah, we want brothers and sisters around us. If we make a mistake and we oppose the Quran and the sunnah, they're going to say, with adab, you made a mistake. And we, we will say, jazakumullahu khairan. Because we're open for advice from anyone and that's what نُرَبِّ طُلَّابَنَا We nurture the brothers upon that. If the teacher makes a mistake, correct them. Because the truth is أَحَبُّ إِلَيْنِ It's more beloved than us. Like Ibn al-Qayyim said, فُلَانْ حَبِيبُنَا He says, so-and-so is beloved to us. We love him. He said, لَكِنَّ الْحَقَّ أَحَبُّ إِلَيْنَ The truth is more beloved to us. May Allah preserve our Ustad. And along that same vein, uh, we have an advice or we have uh, a statement from Ibn Abdul Bar. who says, Whoever truly loves you forbids you from evil, and whoever hates you allures you to it. And we see the similarities in the da'wah from this side of the planet to the other, that uh, alhamdulillah salafi in every place and every time is consistent. Likewise, Germantown Master Academy is announcing that they are seeking highly motivated and committed staff to facilitate on-site student learning, that the positions open are uh, two female positions and then one male position. If you believe that you are qualified and would like to uh, and to like to to apply then please see hr at gtmacademy.org likewise camden master dao is excited for this uh, lecture series that will be taking place by our stad abu hassan madik who will be going through kitab sunnah uh, in sunan ibn majah and selected a hadith through the the fifth and seventh through the fifth sixth and seventh of august so that's today tomorrow and uh, t- today, tomorrow, and Sunday, after Maghrib and Asr, you can look forward to that and see the details for that on Twitter. Likewise, there's only 29 days left for the conference out in Mashhad al-Wahyain, hashtag who is coming, and support Mashhad al-Wahyain. You can see details on that at Mashhad al-Wahyain, Amen, uh, in Minnesota. Up next, Haramain Sharifain, they got rain, alhamdulillah, once again. <laughs> We have we have another video of the matar, the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa taala descending upon the haram. Now, alhamdulillah, he's saying that it raining, it's raining in the haram right now. Alhamdulillah, rabbil alamin. Likewise, some raad, some batish, yani some light from the sky, while Allah subhanahu wa taala has sent down His mercy and He shows us His power as well. Likewise, out in Masjid Al-Quba in Medina, they likewise had similar weather that it's raining and thundering there as well. We see this beautiful picture of the young boys playing in the rain. City Center Dawah, with uh, Allah's permission, has has planned to go back to Bangladesh. They're going back to build some housing for the people that were afflicted with a f- with flooding recently. Uh, they're saying, with Allah's permission, we plan to revisit Bangladesh to conclude the work started last month. We intend to assist with the building of solid living structures as many people are still living in makeshift tents and also provide food to the very poor that have been displaced. May Allah increase their efforts and give them success. Likewise, from Sisi Dawa, the first of Dhul Hijjah, the, the three wells project for in Indonesia for the Mahad Dhul has been completed. Alhamdulillah, they have established three wells for the Naam, they have established three wells for the Mahad Dhul Nurain in Indonesia. There was a boys college or a boys Mahad uh, school and likewise they're intending to build a girls school as well and this was to supply clean water and 
and aid and assistance for the community out there. May Allah bless them in that effort. Uh, if you would like to support the CC Dawa team in their efforts and their continued work in the Dawa, then please see these details below. Up next, uh, stories of the punishments, lessons, and from uh, our uh, Afwan Naam by Sheikh Hamoud ibn Abdullah at Tawajiri. So if you would like to see that, then you can see that at Salafi Bookstore. Markaz al-Imam al-Sa'adi is announcing that there will be a new lesson starting in Tottenham this Saturday, the 6th of August, which is tomorrow. Qawaid al-Arba, explanation of Sheikh Ahmed al-Najmi. Uh, Naam, Ahmed Najami. Ahmed al-Najmi. Naam, by Abu, Ray- by Abu Rayana, Rayhana Yahya, some typos here. Alhamdulillah, and the time will be 3 to 4.30 p.m. That's going to be British time, so that will be sometime around... Uh, 10 or 11 o'clock uh, our time, Eastern Standard Time. Up next, uh, Marcus Al Imam. Nah, same story here as well. Nah. And coming to a close on this video, Alhamdulillah, we have a really cool announcement. The University uh, of Medina has just announced that their, their huge, massive uh, sports complex has now been officially opened and those who would like to register can register at the two links below they can see egd underscore iu underscore edu on twitter we have a couple pictures this is one of the students uh, that i'm sure we've seen and he's pointing out to the fitness organization we have a couple of brothers sir early brothers getting it in in the gym this is a story close to our heart alhamdulillah and this right here is the uh, the pool May Allah put barakah in it for the Muslims. And we have a brother working out on the cardio machines. That will conclude our Ibn Text, the Dawah today. We really appreciate you logging on. As always, we ask you to follow us at Ibn Tech on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And we look forward to, see, we look forward to seeing you soon. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.